in the early days came out as pure anger. Very regularly then became my undeniable inability to handle my emotions and it started spiraling from there. When it all began, it's going back about, you know, you're going back over 20 years. It was a huge period of confusion and um, frustration. And, but um, so it would have started that early and it was something that was really unexplainable. There's an awful lot of that kind of deep hopelessness, frustration. I didn't know who to open up to. I didn't know what I was opening up about. You bury it down and, and you become this kind of master of disguise. I was always kind of seen as a happy-go-lucky, but it was completely just bubbling away underneath. Can you just talk about that, that point where you came to, oh my God, this isn't right? It was actually the year I mean, my own mother passed away and, and, and that came with all sorts of confusion. It was just layered on and layered on. But I think suicide, the thoughts and stuff would have always been there. I made peace with that this was the solution. This was the, the way out. Had you talked to anybody about how you were feeling up to then? I never opened up. I'd never talked to anyone about it. In my own head now, looking back, it was probably cries for help. You just want someone almost to put the hand out. Thankfully, it was. I realised then I was in trouble. And without really thinking too much about it, I picked up the phone and called me GP. The relief of starting the journey of, of talking, uh, you know, to talk to someone, to, to open up, talk to somebody, whether it is either a family member or GP or, or a, someone in the medical profession, it's whatever it needs, push yourself to, to, to get that done. It, 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 that, that initial contact is incredibly helpful. 